Um, all new at 10, foreigner corner revealing what a Cape Coral man was doing the night his father was murdered. Rick Marshall was reported missing back in February. His body found dismembered. And experts say whoever did it needed extensive knowledge and skill. Now, his son Matthew is behind bars, charged with using his dad's credit card at a local bar the next day. But Matthew has not been charged in his dad's murder. Foreign your corner, Stephanie Tinoco joining us live in the studio with more on what she's uncovered tonight. Stephanie. Patrick, Amy, records show Matthew Marshall seemed to be in a hurry the night his father went missing, making multiple stops throughout the night before walking back home early in the morning where a neighbor saw him soaking wet from head to toe. Gerard Cress vividly remembers detectives canvassing his Cape Coral neighborhood quickly after Rick Marshall went missing. There was the police was by the gate there to the gated community. Uh, they were stopping everybody that was going in and out. A chopper, dive teams and detectives digging deeper to find out what happened to the 58 year old who never made it to a conference in California. I asked the police what, what was going on but they wouldn't tell me. They said they, they don't know anything what was going on. Two months have gone by and no one has been named a suspect in Rick's murder. Credit card history helped investigators determine where Matthew was the night his father went missing. Records show Matthew used his father's credit card at a Walmart to buy beer around 10 o'clock. 20 minutes later, he used it to pay for an Uber ride to Backstreet's Bar. In less than half an hour, he called for another Uber to pick him up and then canceled. After calling and canceling a few more times, his last call was made around midnight. That's when the card was blocked for suspicious activity. A few hours later, a neighbor saw Matthew walking home shirtless, soaking wet from head to toe, and carrying his shoes. When detectives asked him about the walk, he said he had bad memory and couldn't remember why. While detectives determine who is responsible for Rick's murder, Crest tells me he hopes justice is served soon. Whoever done it, if they ever catch him, um, I think should be uh, uh, punished pretty good. You can count on four in your corner to bring you any new developments as investigators continue their search for a suspect in this murder case. Meanwhile, the son, Matthew Marshall, is still in jail for credit card fraud and is expected to be in court again on May 10th. Live in the studio, Stephanie Tinoco, Fox 4, in your corner. Okay, thank you, Stephanie.